other links here and we are to continue Yumina v Admiral. Let's check out um, if the girl will try to kill us again or something. I mean, it is quite possible, right? She seems quite... Quiet like a person that might do that even if not intentionally We go back to the classroom first There are many students going about their business. I spot some of my friends among them Also, you might be hearing the keyboard a bit louder than usual uh, Because I switched it Mizuki Naoto and Nonomiya Tomori She's cute Studying. No? See? Okay, let's do it! Those guys are like me in uh, junior high school. But, I mean, for me it was because I... Uh, because I didn't have time after school, really. I mean, again! Repeat of the story. I used to play football, so you know, it was school and straight to the football uh, grounds and so on. Yeah, so I would be waiting for the bus and doing homework anyway. Uh, let me copy your stuff when you're done. I only need the stuff for the next time. Uh. <laughs> hey, he might be a slacker, but he passed the exams. Can I help you with that? Huh. I mean, was I ever called to the staff room? I think I wasn't. I mean, why would I really? Definitely not in high school. Definitely not in junior school, high school. Right, in middle school, basically. I'm not sure about primary school. I think in primary school I might have been called once, actually, but... I don't remember why. Anyway. Yeah, it was pretty bad now that I think about it. Again, there were updates. Uh, okay, the mic is in the co fuck in the co correct spot. I moved the webcam a little bit. Sorry. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but she probably can't really. Okay, listen you guys. Yumina is going to repeat this year. I mean, they were going to find out eventually anyway, so you shouldn't withhold the information like a politician. But I don't think you are going to tell them ever, considering... This guy... Well, this girl, right? Mm. Weren't... Wait, what... Wasn't the thing earlier? 
a makeup exam? Whatever. Yeah, normal students would be fine for, but you not only failed the makeup exam, you also missed the second makeup exam. Exactly that. Yeah, I mean, that's good. No, it's not. Don't be so bitter. It's all in the past now, so let's just forget about it. Where did she take that from? Ah, well, 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 well. Okay, you don't have to hit me all the time. You're way too violent for your own good. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. You agree? You guys are pretty calm considering your friend is flunking. <laughs> this guy! That will look down on you. What? Yeah, I click, sorry. Is there for? Wait, that was the entire sentence, really? Ah. Good approach, technically, but... How are we going to do this with all the subjects? I had only once one problem like that in high school history when I had to miss three months of school and the guy after re me returning would be like every single lesson try to check my knowledge from the past lessons and I was just like god damn it dude you know how much catching up I had to do myself on my own everything and you are pissing me off so yeah until the very last lesson uh, I saved myself and yeah <laughs> and the next year I just literally destroyed his subject anyway at the top of the class there because he pissed me off <clears throat> it's funny that if you uh, if you pissed me off at school or anything I would roll out uh, with really better results it was the same about football as well anyway she's not one to listen to advice so could you do help us out I don't care if you only go through the motions no idea Dead girl. Dead girl. Yumina, this is pointless. You should just prepare to redo the second year. Yumina strides out of the classroom, head held high. She wasn't asking me. In fact, she's not even giving me a choice. It seems I'm not in a position to refuse. 
I feel like making myself scars right now. But if I do that, then she's going to bal go ballistic on my ass tomorrow. <sighs> I'm really tired. You don't happen to know any way to make her give up, do you? You're right. I'm going. I have no choice but to follow her. For I'm not particularly keen to do so. Why are we here again? I don't really want to ask, but... What are you planning on doing here? Okay, so cheating on the exam is not okay. But switching your data is okay? What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, stop right there, Yumina. That's a step or two too far. Are we sure for? You mean and I am making quite a ruckus, in, right in front of the staff room. I'd have liked it if our search was a little more methodical, but that's clearly beyond Yumina. She's wearing her usual thinking face, thinking, as she stares at the door of the staff room. Uh, yeah, we are not going to find anything here either. We can't do anything here, not after what Mr. Matsubayashi said. I get my credits one way or another, yeah. <laughs> me, upstanding! Don't make me laugh! I always score the bare minimum I need to pass. I always gather exam questions from previous exams, copy my essays from the web, and generally walk the tightrope. Makes sense for, I mean, to be fair, hey, doesn't everyone do that? You ask, I mean, that's university, basically. You ask the previous years for the exams, because someone will definitely have them. Uh, copy the essays from the web. No, I actually haven't done that. Sure, you look for sources and so on, but I don't copy word for word. That that would be ridiculous. I wasn't copying, because I no longer do those, right? Uh, yeah, but yeah, anyway. That's how you get through life. You should learn from my example, Yumina. Yeah. Even if you have to repeat a year as a result. Uh, I, I have no idea. I, Ace of Fables, what the hell is that? Uh, collection of Fables. Great, that's a lot of information. Anyway, when it comes to studying, Yumina and I have almost polar opposite attitudes. Yumina studies in what she thinks is a proper manner and keeps doing that until she's ready. What do you mean proper manner? I, on the other hand, am willing to do whatever it takes to obtain a passing grade with as little effort as possible. But the end result isn't what you might expect if you believe in fairy tales. Yumina has honorably challenged the exams, and now she has to repeat a year. She might be overdoing it, basically. If she's not... I mean... It seems like that, she is overdoing it, and yeah, I mean, it seems like she can deal with stress maybe as well, of the exams. Not only does she lack the basic ability to pass, her inflexible nature makes her unable to survive the whims of society. That's right, this world can just be handled through the effort alone, unfortunately. I think that in Yumina's case, she simply lacks the brains. It's true that people tell us, to be honest, and fair all the times. But no one is. But you just can't live if you do that. It would be one thing if we were as smart as the others, but we're not, so we should do what fits us. 
For example, I'm like a willow. I let the criticisms of the world blow by like the wind and live at my own pace. I mean, it's a good thing that you don't, you know, you don't allow the criticism to influence you. That's a good approach. What's the matter, Yumina? Are you even listening? She's not. Yumina is looking at the other way, despite the fact that I'm giving a grand speech. I glance to the side to see what she's looking at. A little distance away, I see a young male teacher talking to a female student. A what? What? What's... Mm. I want something from barbecue. Uh. Uh, it's a deal already. The girl smiles and runs off. The teacher watches her go. I don't know what club she's in, but she seems to have a good life. That said, club activities are incompatible with my modus operandi, so it's none of my concern. I'm one of those people who go out home after school, or rather, who go to the dorm. Come on, Mina. There is no point hanging around here. Let's go back to the dorm, okay? What is she bubbling about? Ha! Huh? Listen, you think you can avoid repeating a year that way? So you want to excel in your club activities and appeal to the teachers that way. But you're not in a club! How do you intend to participate in any big competitions before the end of the year? Then what are you on about? Something about data exchange just now. Into dumb ones? No. <sighs> now just wait a minute. I think you just made a grave insult to the teachers. Calm down, Yumina! God damn it! Don't make rash decisions! Yumina has a habit of getting completely off track sometimes. I leave this place dragging her along with me. The principal's office? We've been walking around the campus for a while now. The plate on this door tells me it's the principal's office. We don't usually come here and there aren't any other students around. <sighs> The door is somewhat grander than most, so it's easy to tell that this is a special place. So why are we here? I can't help but get a feeling that this is going to be a pain. You know... Sometimes I just can't keep up with you. Mm -mm. That's pretty ancient history. How come you of all people know about that stuff? <laughs> and all this is relevant how? I think it's actually pretty normal for teachers to face students who get bad grades. Are you now? I think I recognize this voice. I'm sorry, something came up. My special skill, absolute deference to authority figures, just triggered. I bow to the newcomer who seems to be a teacher. 
It's not so much what we did as what she didn't do, or rather what she wants to do after this. That's the principal, isn't it? No, it's not. Huh. I take another look at the teacher. He's slumping, wearing crumpled clothes and looking at us with a disinterested expression. If it wasn't for how he's here, I would never have expected him to be a teacher. I pride myself on my lazy lifestyle, but this guy is something else. For it feels like I've seen him somewhere before. This must be the principal. I knew it. <laughs> How do you not know who's your principal by... Okay, I can't blame her. I didn't know the principal at my university as well. Or basically anyone at the top. It was a different story on the previous schools, but at university I had no clue. Oh, now I remember. I saw him at the opening ceremony. Wow, that's offensive to say. You're past your first year and you still don't recognize the principal. Well, that's convenient. Come on, Yumina, make your petition so I can go back to my room. <sighs> yeah, Yumina, you are repeating this year. You don't have any chance now. Ah, uh, you know Yumina's name, Mr. Principal. <laughs> I mean, of course he will know. Wow, Yumina, you're famous. If not longer. If not longer. You made sure. What? Well, okay, I need to spread the news then. I mean, just because uh, uh, you said that you didn't get a passing grade because of that, but we don't know if you would get the passing grade, right? What? Well, hey, are you blaming me? It's you who set everything in motion. I'm a victim here. <laughs> You're right. You're the one who came crying begging for my help. You said you were afraid you weren't going to pass the makeup exam. Oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. Don't say don't say stuff here like that. You're going to get me in trouble. I just got dragged along. I'm sorry, we got sidetracked. Come on, Yumina, let's get back to the topic. <laughs> she said she studied. Uh, you know what? I would do the crazy thing and say, okay. Let's do it right now. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> ah, 
Anyway, she's really motivated to take the test. That's probably all she's got for. But if she does get another chance, it will be really hard on her. And especially on me. Even if she probably wouldn't make good on that chance. Think of that as safeguarding her future. As a teacher, if she fell here, you wouldn't sleep well, would you? Both. Shut up, Yumina. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> well, about that, uh, that's not really her, her, her strength as well. Ah, it pains me to hear those words. Do they now? I never, I, I never felt rewarded for getting good grades, to be fair. Is it now? I love this guy. See, it's no good. Let's go, Yumina. Yeah, I guess trying to kill someone is not the greatest of re uh, reasons, right? <laughs> well, her becoming a teacher would be a very bad thing. What are we getting dragged into? You mean a chance to change the rules, but I understand now how the principal is being very suggestive for some reason. I want to ask him about it, but he opens the door to the office paying me no heed. I think he has no intention of talking to us any longer. Why like that? Think of me, I don't want to be dragged like that. Manda, manda! Ah, hey, Yumina, are you going to keep going? Yumina stalks away, not even taking time to be disappointed. I hardly move to go after her, however. What are you talking about? Huh? Qualified for what? Tell me now! Ah, the principal closed the door, leaving me with more questions than answers. Qualified to be annoying? It seems you may be qualified for something, but I don't know for what. Go yourself, please. Leave me alone. I know already. I wish you'd just give up. Can we force her to give up somehow? Ooh. 
It's evening. I can hear crows calling in the distance. The sinking sun is orange in color. And all of Jinbu Academy is dyed the same. Of course, you and I are no exception. I wonder why it is. People feel so tired when they stand in a sunset like this. Hey, Yumina. My feet are killing me. Listen, I've been wanting to say this for some time now. This really isn't something you can tackle with more willpower, mere willpower. Walking around like this is pointless. Well, nothing. There is nothing you can do. But you can't win this. Even the principal told you so. Are you planning on rewriting the rules? Yes. You're just being too serious about flunking. Just think about it as if you've been resting the whole year. Ooh. Who's that? I like that voice. Who's there? With this sound of voice, a shadow falls over us. I turn toward it. Hmm. Hmm. A girl is standing there, looking down at the two of us. From the way her shadow is cast, she appears to tower over us. She looks at us with a piercing stare. It's obvious she has business with us. She's wearing a black uniform which matches her black ponytail. For a moment, it even seems like she's part of the shadows themselves. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. It just... This is a bit of an anti-climax. Now, the time used to the lighting I can make out her features clearly. Since she's looking down at us, I thought she was rather tall, but that's not the case. She's standing on an elevation. <laughs> so she's higher than us, but her body is pretty small. But her voice, definitely an anti-climax. Huh? She's got a pretty bossy attitude for being such a pipsqueak. <laughs> she continues to look down at us from her elevated position. In before she's... Uh, your senpai. <laughs> I knew it. It's better to not be tall than being dumb, you mean? Exactly. Well said, Senpai. Wait a minute, Yumina, you're missing something. You there, third year. How do you know about that? That decision was made only today. <gasps> there is no such a thing. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is for. <laughs> あまりにも可哀想じゃないか。うん。だから、その悪役は<笑> 
喉から手が伸びるくらいに欲しいもの<笑>何よそれ悪いけど新聞と新聞でマルチは大差拒否よ<笑>いいのかお前にとって実に有益な情報だぞ<笑>だったらもったいぶらずにさっさと教えなさいよそれは留年を回避するための手伝いさ Okay, so I can go. Right? What? She really is not tall. It's not a problem for. I can't believe what she just said. Avoid repeating a year. Avoid repeating a year. Avoid repeating a year. Of course, there is only one of us who reacts to that. Like a skipjack hopping to a new location, you may have burst down the mysterious girl. ね。でも、あなたがそれを見てくれるのえっと、えっと。人部学園3年。キララ。黒川キララだ。キララ。オッケー。I I don't buy it. The principal himself said nothing could be done, and now you claim otherwise. <laughs> Are you picking on my phone here? Seems so. Uh, yeah. Hey, it was scary years. <laughs> Sorry for yawning. <laughs> we don't know that yet. <laughs> what justice? What are you talking about? For what? For failing everything? <laughs> hey, Senpai, can you actually not help her? <laughs> Just choose the second option, please, Hirara. <sighs> so, what's the deal? What can you do by yourself? I'm not helping. I'm not helping. Yeah. <laughs> Good approach. <laughs><笑>聞きたければ明日私のところへ来い。それを一生時と見なし。続きを話してよ。では、また明日。賢明な判断を期待しているぞ。with that parting remark, Kirara trust a small piece of paper into Yumina's hands. Then she turns and leaves without so much as waiting for an answer. I want to go after her, but Yumin is pensively staring at the piece of paper. What does it say? It seems to be a simple map of the campus, with a meeting spot marked on it. There is also a single phrase. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Are we going there now or I guess so. Anyway, before we get there, let's end the episode. We'll go to that club tomorrow. Uh yeah, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.